Hello everyone. So, um, it's been over a month since I uploaded and I tried to record this video on my camera the other day but then it had the mic issue again and I completely forgot. I was talking and it, it had the annoying noise going for like three minutes out of like a ten minute video so I thought I am not. I just can't upload that because it sounds so shit and it's just gonna annoy everyone and it annoys me. I don't know why it does it but um I've tried to fix the problem but it just like it goes away after the first like few minutes of recording so to get around it I've just been having to wait um like start the record button and then just like wait for it to be like three minutes in. Why is this going dark? Um so as you can see I'm in my car. I'm in Tesco's car park right now. People are probably looking at me but I just did some shopping and I thought I would just do this now um because I thought like it's decent lighting for like my phone and I sort of like the sort of ambience around me so maybe that makes it a bit more interesting than me just like sitting at home but obviously that's mostly what I've been doing um yeah I only come out to get essential groceries you know uh it, you know it's not really much different for somebody that's an introvert and such to suddenly be inside all the time but I think the worst thing about all this is I haven't seen my family in over a month and I don't know when I'm gonna get to see them and that's really like putting a lot of negative pressure on me it's just like I, I don't even know when I actually get to see my own family and it's just like yeah I know I can like talk to them over the phone and stuff but it's just nowhere near the same like, I, I hate talking on the phone I don't know about other people but I just think talking on the phone is just like so shit like I don't know I, I don't really tend to do that but anyway uh how have I been I guess I, I won't make this too long I just wanted to you know tell you what's been going on and stuff and just sort of redoing this um so you now actually have to queue to get into supermarkets it's actually like kind of dead now like there's no queue but when I got here there was somewhat of a queue to get in and like you have to follow like this one-way system around the store now um I know it's like it's the same in like pretty much everywhere now that they're doing things like this like taking all these measures but yeah because it makes sense and hopefully it's it's gonna help even though like I know the numbers like have increased but you know I just I just really hope that this doesn't go on like for so much longer because it's just like I I'm like I'm obviously really depressed. I mean, I just am anyway. Like, it's just sort of my aura around me that I'm always just kind of like, mm, have zero motivation to do anything, don't really have a purpose in my life, just sort of floating by, hoping that I can somehow make a life for myself. But it's it's been really bad for years. I've never really found anything that makes me wanna keep going. Like, obviously there's it's people that make me want to keep going and that's why but it's just like I, I hate putting all that on people like I want to have something for myself that I feel like good to be alive about because you know of course I have my YouTube stuff but even then that's gone downhill like my ASMR channel has gone downhill I'm barely getting like any views anymore and I know you shouldn't attach like worth and such like that to views but that really does like get you down because you think like well what did I do wrong where did I go wrong like I haven't I don't know I guess I don't know if it's just because I don't upload often enough but it's just like with with all like like the way I am I just I can never be that person that uploads every day I just can't do it I just do not have the mental capacity I don't have the mental stamina and I applaud people that that do that but I'm just I just can't ever be that person so maybe that's why I'll never be successful because I'm too lazy but mm, it's it's mostly just like my frame of mind like not being able to motivate myself in any way shape or form I mean sometimes I can get like inspired by watching other people's videos but like that doesn't like always happen and um I'm sorry yeah I, I don't really know what, what to say it's just kind of the same old with me like nothing 
really ever changes. Um, I'm just <laughs> the same boring person. Like, I'm not doing anything interesting, so it's just like I don't even know why I vlog. Really, it's it's mostly just like to talk about my feelings, like you know, like a video diary sort of thing. Well, it is. It's a video log. It's like, you know, a blog but in video form. And, you know, vlogs have become something, like, way more than that. They have to be, like, extravagant and interesting. But no, this is, like, me writing a blog, but instead I'm saying it out loud. And why are you pulling up next to me? Okay, he's not. <laughs> yeah, and one of my watchers commented on an Instagram post and she was asking how I was so um shout out to her her name's Little Minx for you um I am I'm alive not dead but I just didn't know what really to do for vid for a video and I just I sort of kept recording some vlog clips and I ended up just scrapping them because then I just didn't record anything else for like a week and then it was just it would just be too all over the place and I I just sort of gave up and didn't know like when or how to come back to to recording because you know I've still been uploading on my ASMR channel so you know I'm not dead but um you know I appreciate that that you guys that watch me you care about me how I am how I'm doing you know it it's it's strange to have people just care about me like on the internet because you know I've dealt with a lot of shit over the years with people on the internet met some horrible people all that kind of stuff but you know it my life isn't interesting and, you know, I've just been doing the same thing day in, day out, really. Just waking up, playing video games, going to sleep, and then sometimes recording in amongst that. But I just don't know what else to do. And it's like, you can't do anything right now anyway. Obviously, I got myself, like, a part-time job. But even I was struggling to do that. So I think, how am I ever going to be able to do some sort of full-time job? But I don't know, maybe I'll always be able to find a way to make money online. <laughs> hopefully well I don't know it, it, it's detrimental for your mental health you'll find that most youtubers are incredibly unhappy with their lives like it doesn't matter how rich you are it doesn't matter what you've got that a lot of them will just be unhappy with themselves and, and the way that like think things have been for them and the fact is you know a lot of youtubers don't have as exciting lives as you think they do maybe the people that are really at the top like Jeffree Star or something he probably has a pretty good life um Okay, there is actually. Why, buddy? Stop revving the goddamn engine. Okay. Yeah, people like Jeffree Star, maybe you could even include Shane Dawson, like, okay. Because they've got friends and stuff, but if you're a smaller YouTuber on the level that I'm on, or even if you've got like a few hundred thousand, stuff like that, like, most of the time they just sit in their room and record and they don't really have like real life friends because you can't meet friends when you stay in. Sorry, my phone stopped recording for some weird reason. Anyway, yeah, you, you can't make friends when you stay in all the time. I met my boyfriend on Tinder because I had no other way to meet people. And I was actually really lucky that I found a good guy because there were so many shitty ones. I went on so many, like, well, I say so many. I went on a few really bad dates. And that was enough for me to be almost turned off of the idea forever. And then I was about to give up. And this was the last guy that I was going to go on a date with. And then here we are, almost a year and a half later. And we are still going. <laughs> so, you know, it's not, it's not always bad, but it is also very dangerous. And I put myself in a lot of dangerous situations. And I, you know, I, bad things happened, but I wouldn't go into that. I, I actually made a video a long while ago about Tinder and some of the dates I've been on and I received a lot of of hate and really disgusting nasty comments so I privated the video because I just I'm like how can these people say these things to me like it's sort of like the victim blaming victim shaming thing that happened because you know I think I did go into somewhat of detail of what happened on those dates in that video and I was just met with so much like so many disgusting like hateful comments and it it just it kind of like killed me because when you've been through bad situations and stuff it's like the worst thing ever to hear that's like oh it was your fault you know you you shouldn't have done that what what is wrong with you why did you do this or like 
oh you're so stupid like hearing things like that when when you even struggle to like go out and meet people and be in those situations and and i i struggle to get out of situations like hearing people say all those things just you know makes me feel like fucking garbage i mean what else i just couldn't believe it because i've heard women tell similar stories to the stories i've told and they're treated like you know oh this isn't your fault like this shouldn't have happened to you these men were bad these men were horrible but then when i post a video talking about it like maybe it's because i didn't do it with such a serious tone because i didn't even realize like the gravity of what actually happened to me until like quite a bit after i feel like you get that with like traumatic situations is sometimes you don't realize the gravity of what happened you just think oh well well this just was my fault and oh oh i just shouldn't have done this and you know all those types of things and then you realize oh this actually did traumatize me and it affects my life now still to this day all of those things still haunt me i have nightmares every single night not not about that specifically but I'm, this is just another thing i have extreme sleeping problems at the moment that's just an update thing just to get off of such a serious topic i mean i suppose this still kind of is serious because this affects my mental well-being too but i'm having nightmares every night every night and they feel real every time and like when i wake up I feel this biggest like wash of relief over my body. I'm like, holy shit, that wasn't real. I'm at, I, I'm here. No, none of that's happened. And like, I don't really like cry or scream or anything, even though like I want to while I'm in the dream. But when I get out, I just feel, holy shit, that's over. Good job, Jesus Christ. Like, so yeah. But that's obviously once again a symptom, you know, of like depression, anxiety. You can have a lot of nightmares and very bad sleep. My sleeping pants completely and utterly fucked. I slept until like 5 p.m. today. So yeah, I'm gonna go now anyway because I have frozen food and it's probably defrosting, and my boyfriend's probably wondering where I am. So I will sign off on that note. Um, this has just been a kind of update video. I hope it hasn't been too um, heavy, but just sometimes things come into my mind that I want to talk about because that's been like sitting on my mind for a while and I just kind of wanted to get it off my chest but anyway thanks for watching thanks for caring <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video bye